The company I work for is Gazprom Energy and we're a supplier of gas and electricity. I head up the legal and regulation team here, so my team is responsible for any and every legal issue which affects our business. Talas is a technology and engineering company uh, that works across five or six strategic sectors. My role is to help anticipate and foresee some of the changes that we see in the world. I'm Mike Harris. Uh, currently I'm setting up a new venture fund. I guess I'm best known as the creator of uh, the world's first telephone bank, First Direct, and the world's first internet bank, Egg. One of the um, key attributes that I really look for in young people is just a genuine enthusiasm to get stuck in and really get involved in what's happening in the business. I really look for people who are interested in finding out more, whether that's about our business or about the law itself. What can they step up to? You know, they, have they got commitment, uh, have they got determination, have they got curiosity. You're also looking for an ability to present and defend an argument, which is a lot of what business is about. We need people who are capable of doing some very, very common intangible things. Being able to, to execute well, being able to deliver well, to take responsibility for your work without needing to be told. A lot of what we do is based on people and relationships. And therefore, emotional intelligence is as important as any academic qualification an ability to understand what other people may be thinking or feeling and really adapting your style. There are lots of opportunities for students at CHS to develop their emotional intelligence. For example, house activities, teamwork and projects and perhaps joining a sports team. We find we've got people who are excellent musicians or excellent sports people and actually being able to relate lots of different contexts and lots of different factors is really, really important and you can start that at 11. Getting involved in projects of any sort is useful because one's always asking somebody, tell me about a project you're involved in, what did you enjoy about it, how did you go about it, how did you get the things done? Reading, really actually reading about current affairs, you know, if you can present a, a view about something interesting that's happening in the world and defend it and, and support it in argument, that's always good to see. A really important attribute in the legal profession is that of communication and being able to communicate sometimes quite complex topics in a very simple way. You expect young people to come to you with great social media skills. It's a given, but you know how many of them are good at Excel? How many of them are good at PowerPoint? They would be exceptionally useful and very impressive. The advice I'd give to my 18-year-old self would be to not doubt yourself and don't get intimidated by other people that you may come across as you start out on your career. Um, I think it's really important to remain focused on what it is you want to do and where you want to get to. You get a different experience of business and of life actually if you follow your own ideas. Do you want to star in your own opera or do you want to be a foot soldier in somebody else's? And I think you have to make a choice. I'm going to come up with an idea, I'm going to get it done, I'm going to get, find the right environment to get that done. If you have that mindset, it can work. There's a finite number of people in the world with certain sets of skills and you have a responsibility to some extent um, to do something meaningful with them, whatever that means for you.